Ranch Ferry here. You hear all the ribbling and rabbling on the message boards and all around the archery world about arrow mass. Heavy arrows, light arrows, don't need to do that. But have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried to shoot a really heavy arrow to see the results? I have. Stay tuned. So one of the reasons why I call myself the ranch fairy amongst other things is people show up at the ranch, family members and other people and guests and expect magical stuff to happen. Like it shouldn't rain. The temperature should always be just right. And your animals should die. The animals should die thing has been a challenge. We've got to be over 75 pigs with a bow and arrow in the last two or three years. Okay. And a bunch of deer and stuff. But this is primarily about pigs because if you can kill those guys, with your setup, dear, easy. I have the luxury at the ranch as the ranch ferry of having magical situations. We have feeder shots set up. They run 24, you know, they run year round. And you can get like textbook, 18 yard, whatever angle you want shots. So changing setups doesn't matter to me. If I shoot a 900 grain arrow, I just re-zero at 20 yards for 900 grains. If it's 18, you just hold iron, whatever. If I want to shoot a 400 grain setup, I can do that. And pigs, they're kick-ass test material. So I put together a compilation of some video clips of failures and successes. Have we killed with 400 grain arrows? Yeah. Have we killed with mechanicals? Absolutely. They're devastating when they work. When they're freaking horrible when they fail. But one thing that keeps occurring or keeps being the only repeatable thing is when I get above 500 grains of arrow mass, the penetration just jumps a little, not a little, a lot. So if you go from mechanical to fixed and from fixed to cut on contact, there's a jump in penetration. And then if you increase your arrow mass, it helps. This pig right here changed the way my head thinks. So I kept having sh these arrows break off and weird deals, one pass through, and the next one hits like hitting a brick. And I said to hell with it. I'm going to get the slowest bow I've got, the heaviest arrow. I'm going to do everything Ashby, and I'm going with it. So I read all about Ashby. I got above 650 grains. This arrow 670 grains. It's got a Grizzly 190 on front. That's a 54-pound longbow. It's 70 inches long. It's really, really fun to shoot. That pig is 265 pounds. And I got a quartering in shot, 18 yards. I'm sneaking up on him, some bitch busts me and goes, whoop, and just turns. And I shoot him in the shoulder here and it goes out his rear ham on the other side. I mean, I was, I shot, that arrow's going 140, 140 maybe feet per second. And I see the arrow, I see the fletchings disappear in his body and I just go, you've gotta be kidding. We've had the fastest bows, slow bows, super cool broadheads, mechanicals, all this stuff. Bonk, 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 bonk. Real irrational results, scattered results all over the place. Maybe 50%, honestly, on getting critters. And I shoot 140 foot per second arrow through a pig that size. Stay tuned. Some kind of fun stuff coming up. Ranch Ferry. So our first pig shot here is with 125 grain Bishop single bevel with a brass insert on an ICS 400s, my son's bow. This is a little pig. This pig is 60, 65 pounds. And you can see it jumps right through her. So not a problem, right? Normal setup, 450 grains, not a problem. This second pig is about 120, 30 pound boar. He's just starting to get kind of teenaged age. And I'm shooting a cut on contact, ICS 400, brass insert, shafts 450 grains, that shot is 14 or 15 yards. He jumps me a little bit, but come on, man. That's not a, the worst hit in the world. Did not find him. He was lost. Arrow penetrated six inches. Nothing but bones. So this next clip is a schwacker. And you can see that the, the light's bad. On the video on the YouTube, you can see that better, but it's a 400 grain ice, it's a 400 spine ICS, no brass adapter. Um, straight schwacker, 17 yard shot, and I think I shot this pig twice. I killed him later with a better setup. But you can see what happens. This shot is right in the pocket. Is he on the move at impact? Yes. 
Did he twitch a little bit? Yeah. I can't prevent that. But there might be a better solution for the future. This is a big animal. This, big, this pig's over 200 pounds. And uh, I wish it had better results. That's the same stand two weeks later in the same set, same feeder, and I'm 99% I'm sure it's the same pig. The schwacker didn't even penetrate to the blades, so I couldn't find a hole in him. And they seal up like corks. They're freaking, they're pigs. This is a Grizzly 190 on a compound. 100 grain insert, 100 grain brass insert, arrows, you know, 685 grains or something like that. And the arrow placement is almost exactly the same spot. And he's on the move at impact if you watch the video close. He's tw twitch, he's lunging forward when the arrow impacts. Results are completely different. And I just wanted for perspective's sake, there's a hole under that feeder the pigs have dug out. So he looked a little shorter than he was. But that's a back end of a Kawasaki mule. And I had to rodeo him up in there by myself. And I say a big, substantial animal. This gives you some perspective on what I'm talking about. This little guy showed up. He was the other big pig I shot twice, was chasing him around, and da 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 da, da. So he comes in, but I, I thought it was good comparative analysis when I was picking through my video clips. Earlier in this video, I shoot the pig out of the tree stand. You can see the glowing knock. It's going downhill, and it kind of quarters into his shoulder and doesn't penetrate at all. I, I get about the same shot. Now it's horizontal, blah, blah, blah. Y'all can throw me under the bus for that. But this is with a 680 grain... Grizzly, two blade, things work out differently. And he doesn't make it. All right, this is Willie the Pooh. He's about 170 pounds. He's just getting to the point that he get, he's get, starting to get a little, shoot me with an arrow, I'm gonna laugh at you sized. This is a ICS 400, 65 pounds, switchback XT. And that is brass insert, 100 grains, and 125 grain bishop single bevel, which is a Nasty little guy. It's a little bitty head like that. It is nasty. It's a great shot right through the guts. Basically, it's, the angle's really, really good. It penetrates about 25 inches of him and just killed the freaking crap out of him. It's the, the shot angle's fantastic. So nice, decent setup, near 500 grains. Get... And finally, I got completely crazy. I got the 600 grain Bishop single bevel from Dr. Sean. Put it on an ICS 300. It did not have a brass adapter. It has an aluminum adapter, but 600 grains up front is enough. This shaft's 985. FOC's right at 30%. That's a big pig. It's about two, he, he weighed 210. He's got a big old butt on him. I don't know what the hell's up with that. He likes big butts and I cannot lie. Anyway, he's on the move. Watch the video. He's on the move at impact and that shaft barely wiggles. I bet that arrow isn't going out of a switchback XT. I bet that arrow's not going 220. I, 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 I would be surprised if it was going 220 and it just <laughs> right through him like he wasn't even there. Crazy stuff. All right, so in conclusion, I want you to be very clear about something. I'm trying to help the deer hunters here. Do you need a 985 grain arrow to freaking kill a deer? No, but it's kind of funny. But at the end of the day, you might want to bump your arrow mass up and stop chasing the magical broadhead when your setup is the, might be the problem. No, it's the problem. If you're not getting adequate penetration and you're shooting a decent broadhead, consider adding about 100 grains to your shafts and seeing what happens. Somewhere around 500 grains, I see a significant jump in penetration. I've got people at the ranch who shoot setups I set up for them and they have no idea they're shooting 550. I just give them arrows. They happen to be 550, which is kind of wonky, or 600 grains. We zero for 20 yards. We shoot 20 to 25. And things are really starting to work out better. Any broadhead, I don't care. You want to shoot muzzies or magnus or whatever. You don't have to go all single beveling crazy. I know on my channel, I'm big on the bishops because they're freaking badass. Those monolithic single bevels are awesome. And the tough heads are really good too. There's a bunch of great single bevels out there. You don't have to go that crazy. If you're not happy, if things aren't working, don't just change from a 100 grain broadhead to another 100 grain broadhead because it's the same damn thing. If you change your arrow mass, it will help. It will help. I promise you. You get on the message boards and people say, wow, I changed to full metal jackets, which by the way, isn't that big a change. It's 25 or 50 grains difference. Big 
freaking deal unless you put the brass adapters in. But I know a lot of people who go, they go full metal jacket with aluminum in the front because they don't want to get too slow because my bow isn't so fast. I'll lose my pin gaps. Blech. What about killing stuff efficiently? All right. So if you hate me now because I've insulted you, fine. Send me hate mail. Get on the message boards and slam the ranch ferry. But if you just say, yeah, I can admit I've had some crazy things happen when I shoot animals with my setup, man, just try it. Go buy some 100 grain brass adapters, throw them in your shafts and see what happens. They're 20 bucks. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, I'm going to continue this experiment. This spring, I'm going to shoot a bunch of different setups. More video, more fun. Subscribe to the channel. Go find me on Facebook. Like this video. Subscribe this video. Or put the thumbs down on this video if you hate me. Because hate is good. It helps cleanse your soul. You insulted my speed setup. Meh. Anyway, subscribe. Like. Enjoy. Video is hard to beat. Man. <laughs>